Today's topic will be how to run a TEOAE test using the GSI Audera Pro. I've already entered a patient name from the opening window and launched the TEOAE module. If I select the edit patient icon, you can see the patient's first and last name are entered, Jane Doe. The patient identifier is automatically assigned by the software. There are other demographic information fields that you can enter, but they're not required to perform a test. All Adair Pro modules open up to a default test protocol, so we're going to review that first. If I go to the protocol drop-down menu, modality, you can see by default, transient nonlinear is selected. This it, modality is required when testing above 65 dB SPL and affects the stimulus sequence. We all know that the stimulus is a broadband click for a TE. The default protocol presents that at 80 dB SPL, which is pretty standard for testing TE, at a rate of 19.3 clicks per second, and we're presenting 1,024 sweeps. The probe check is enabled because we want to make sure the seal in the patient's ear canal is appropriate. So of course, before starting a test on a patient, we're going to perform an otoscopic exam, select the appropriate ear tip and place it in the patient's ear canal, and of course, test in a quiet environment. And for this presentation, I'm actually going to be performing a test in a test cavity so I can talk through the recording. So I'm going to go ahead, down at the bottom is the collection toolbar, and to start a test, you simply have to select the ear you're going to test first. So in this case, I'm going to select the right ear, and the test after the probe check is going to begin. The response is displayed in the time and frequency domain. So the time waveforms are up at the top, and that's the number of clicks being presented divided into two parts, buffer A and buffer B, so we can compare two waveforms. Below that is the frequency domain, where we are showing the amplitude of the response over frequency. And if you look at the frequency domain, anything in dark green is noise, and the yellow color is the actual response. Now remember, we're collecting in a cavity, so we would not expect um, a response um, there. We would expect pretty much noise. If you look below that, we will see protocol information, the number of sweeps, and then the analysis where the click response is analyzed in five frequency bands from 1000 to 4000 hertz. For each band, we're going to see a correlation coefficient, which is simply comparing the two waveforms in the time domain, the amplitude of the TEOAE, and the signal to noise ratio. An overall correlation coefficient for the response across all frequencies is displayed. And then at the very bottom is the refer, uh, refer or the result pass or refer is going to display. So each one of these individual bands referred except for the lowest frequency. And there is a lot of noise uh, mixed in there, so but the overall result is the refer. I'm going to go ahead and load a response that I collected in my own ear my own left ear. So you can see both. I'm going to grab the little dot to the left of that window so I can move it up and you can see them side by side. So this on the left is a response that I collected in my own ear and if you look at the uh, time waveforms they overlap almost exactly. There's noise in the recording and there always will be uh, but the yellow is the actual TE response that was picked up in my ear. If you look over um, at the data, starting at 1,000 hertz, the SNRs are quite large, and the requirement for SNR is 60 dB in order to pass at a particular frequency band, and the overall diagnostic result is a pass. So that's a test in the left ear that passed, and in the right ear, the test cavity that referred. If I wanted to add some text to my report, I can select Report Add Text, and I actually created um, a template before where there is, and saved it, uh, present response in the left, absent in the right, and that loads in my text editor, and if I select OK, 
I can place that on my page and move it around with that little dot there um, wherever I want it on the page. To print a report, I can go simply to print and I'm going to do a preview so you can see what it looks like and it will actually take whatever you see on your display and place it in uh, the report. So here you can see the right and left results exactly as they are in the software. I can also save that report and it would load the these TE results exactly as you see them on the page in the future should you want to look at those. And that's it. Please look for other trainings coming up on the GSI Audera Pro. Thank you.